Ladies and gentlemen, about six months ago, I said, okay, on April 13th, a week before and a week act after, watch for a major massive record-breaking storm. And so our major massive record-breaking storm has been ongoing, and its tail will continue to be ongoing tomorrow uh, with major massive long-range, long-term damaging tornadoes possible in the south i'll cover that in another video um but yeah somehow if you enjoy science that predicts shit from the future and i've predicted two hurricanes this summer location and dates although i will continue to tune those in the next six months and so if you want to continue to support science that believes in anything other than carbon, which is me. I believe in the sun, which is also freaking out. We have our major massive sunspot magnetic filament complex that is now facing Earth and will be perfectly facing Earth and Eris at the time of the Eris conjunction tomorrow at the 13th. So if you want to support Thor News, I have a Venmo link. I have a PayPal link in my information box. And then the very safest way is... Uh, sending me a letter to my mailbox. If you don't and you just want to leave shitty comments, that is fucking fine too because, man, we live in corporate social Darwinism and corporations literally have brainwashed so many people. So do what you want to do, man. This is most, mostly for my own personal notes because I stumbled across another thing last night where we're talking about did you guys ever heard of the Cascadia earthquake? It was a 8.7, 9.2 magnitude earthquake that hit the Pacific Northwest in 1700. Uh, the Cascadia earthquake occurred along the Cascadia subduction zone on January 26th with an estimated moment magnitude of 8.7, 9.2. The megathrust earthquake involved the Juan de Fuca plate from mid-Vancouver Island, south along the Pacific Northwest, coast as far as North California. The length of the fault rupture was about 620 miles with an average slip of about 66 feet. The earthquake caused a tsunami which struck the coast of Japan, also linked to the Bonneville slide. And can you guess where I'm going with this? If you can, then you're Thor News Asteroid Folk Club All-Star. Yeah. So if we look at the date, January 1st, the 26th, 1700, we had all the gas giants on the same side, Earth out here on the flank, and that Eris was damn near the nearest it gets to the planet, to us. So the good news is when Eris does come around, it's not going to totally wipe out civilization, that these are just natural progression in how the earth carves itself i guess and so but yeah you know um we're this is where we're at now where we have all the gas and, and notice how and shit i didn't do this thing hold on planet so how are you guys doing today what are you doing me all right, that didn't work great. Man, I'm in a bad mood. Okay, so yeah, so like here's Earth down there, right? That's Earth, and there's Jupiter, and that's Saturn. And so if you'll notice, if you like to notice things, I don't think I'm ever going to have sex again either. What a future. Okay, so here is now, I believe. So if you'll notice... Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn, almost same locations. Although this is now where Earth is coming around. But if you'll notice, they are a lot in the same spots. But, you know, that's what I've been calling planetary orbital angular momentum. And so I definitely, I've tracked back the New Madrid earthquake. Gas giant, same side. Jupiter, Saturn, very close. Um, when you had 1915, when the last time a volcano erupted in California, guess what? Gas giant, same side. 
Jupiter Saturn pretty close. Um, 1800, when uh, you had seven volcanoes going off on the west coast, you guessed it. All gas giants, same side. And um, I don't know, man. I'll tell you something I don't ever get. Imposter syndrome. I don't ever feel like an imposter. Why? Because I'm coming up with too much badass shit. And, and I don't have to sub submit stuff to nature.com and have my peers review it. I make a prediction like, oh, around the 13th of April, 2019, we're going to have a major storm that looks like this. I do that six months. And then six months later, what do you know? There it is. And so now I've gotten so good, I've called hurricanes. Um, by my rough estimate, if it shifts west, it would be South Texas near San Antonio, Brownsville that would get hit and then Florida, and then if it shifts east, it would probably be Florida that gets hit in September, and then the New England area in October, the middle of the month. Although one could go out to sea. I'm still refining this. I've got six months to super refine it, so that's good news. But um, what I'm saying is, honestly, I really think that uh, science knows what is happening, and that as you've seen, they literally have the media on lockdown. That's why I have such a hard time and everything gets hacked and I have to fight every month because they want to control the narrative. They only want to talk about carbon. You know, you won't see a single scientist on TV talking about this giant sunspot or how the sun affects things. Um, and so, you know, it's they, they, don't, they want one narrative, man. Uh, and so... I'm like a one-man wrecking crew. You know, literally, if you put me on a stage with your top 10 scientists, I could kick their ass in a debate. Especially now. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I hope my sense of humor eventually returns, but it's just crazy days, man. Crazy days. And divide and conquer, you know, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that is definitely magnificent. That is one of the most impressive sunspots and filament, magnetic filament constructs I've ever seen. Someone said, ah, it's not that big a deal it, because of the mixing and the something, something. And I was like, I don't know, dude, that's a big deal. I wouldn't undercut this. Yeah, we're definitely on earthquake and volcano watch the next five days. Crazy shit, man. Crazy shit. Uh, I've been suggesting we all work together for the last five or six years, but people have such faith in their Republican Party or their Democratic Party. They, they don't need to work with people, man. And it's like we live in a corporate social Darwinism system. And so, you know, I don't know. You can name it everything, anything else you want, but that's what it is. Only the strongest corporations shall survive, Asterix. Because that's what it feels like today. Well, you know, everything's subject to change. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to have sex again. Okay. Everybody stay cool. I'm going to try and cheer up. And I'm going uh, to try and cover the big storm that will be happening tomorrow that has all of meteorology freaking out. But literally, I've been warning about this week for six months. So, I don't even know how to be more impressive. You know, and I guess if I lost weight and brushed my teeth more, that would be more impressive, but whatever. Okay. God bless everyone.